Hello everyone, happy Friday afternoon to you. This is Jen at Ink Paper Rubber. Um, you probably had better settle in. I'm not sure how long we are going to go today. Um, as some of you already know, I spent all day on Wednesday in here going more through the classroom, going through the storage room, and just pulling all kinds of things out. Today, I mostly have classroom clearance items, a few display items. I've got um, some samples from classes and other things uh, to sell today, just a whole lot of stuff. And I am gonna tell you that you're gonna need to definitely pay attention today. I have a few things that are numbered or lettered, but a lot of them are not. And so you are just going to have to pay attention and please um, try and put in as good a description as you can. Just saying Tim Holtz, uh, that you want something from Tim Holtz isn't enough because I may have multiple things scattered throughout from Tim Holtz. And um, it makes it difficult for me when I go back and I read the comments. I am not actually watching the video. I'm just reading the comments. So I don't really necessarily know where in the video you left your comment. So please, if you can, be as descriptive as possible. When I get to things that don't have any names on them, I will kind of tell you the description of it. And if you use that description, then I hopefully will know what it is that you mean. So... Um, definitely shop from the video today. Just comment if there's anything that you see that you want. Um, this is our last official weekend to be open. Um, Sunday is. It's looking like I probably am going to be open for some limited hours a week from Saturday. Um, I'll probably have another Facebook Live next Friday. I'm planning to come in on a couple days next week to finish going through everything. And so we'll probably have some limited hours next Saturday for you to come by and pick up. But anything that you um, buy today, please uh, come by the store to pay and pick it up this weekend. If you absolutely can't make it in this weekend, you can call and pay for it on the phone and then we'll make arrangements for the next weekend to pick it up. And of course, I am happy to ship. Um, so you just need to let me know if you need me to ship your items and I am happy to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. We've got a lot. I do have a couple of new things to show you, and these are regularly priced items. They are not available for the clearance, um, so um, they are regularly priced. This one is a regular Distress Ink Reinker in the new Rustic Wilderness color. I believe the reinkers are $5, so that is Rustic Wilderness Reinker. And I did get in all of the new Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous stamps. Um, so if you had an order in, you should have heard from us by now that your stamps are in. And I really didn't mean to order any extras, but I ended up with an extra of one of my favorites. Um, this is the Christmas Tiny Text stamp set. It is $30. You can see it has all these wonderful single line sentiments on it. So that is Christmas Tiny Text for $30. All right, so let's jump in. F to start off with, I have some cigar box goodies here for you. Um, you get the cigar box and all the goodies that are included in it. This first one is item number A, so if you want it, you just need to put in A, and it is $30. This is a really nice wooden cigar box. It actually has a real nice kind of enameled clasp on it. And this particular box has, if I can get it open, it has a bunch of distress markers. These have all been used, but I did test all these, and all these are still relatively juicy. We have a couple of distress stains, cracked pistachio and aged mahogany. Both of these are half full or more. Um, we have some Inca Golds, some little mini ones. I will tell you, these are dried, and I really didn't include these in the cost of it. I just threw them in. Um, you may be able to revive those, so those are in there as well. We also have a jar of some of the Ranger Stickles Gel. This one is maybe about a quarter full. We have some uh, uh, liquid pearls and a couple of little can or a little canvas in there. So that's A for thirty dollars. Next, we have Cigar Box B, and this one is $25. This is a fun cigar box. We have some gelatos in here. We have some little mini canvases. We have some blending stumps. We have some glue. We have three um, Dina Wakely gloss sprays that are all nearly all full. We have some Shiva oil sticks, and that is some gray crackle paint. And this is a little mini Judikins Diamond Glaze. 
So this is box number B, and it is $25 for box number B. And our last cigar box for today is box number C. It is $25 as well. And this one has, it has six jars of Art Institute, um, their art glitter. These are all almost all full. So there's six jars in various colors. Um, we have four um, Nouveau drops. I think three of them are glitter drops and one of them is um, one of the crystal drops that is very metallic-y looking. And these bottles are all almost completely full. We have a spray bottle of Tattered Angels spray and that one is fairly empty. There's only maybe about a quarter of a bottle left. We have some Stampendous White Fun Flock and we also have some Stampendous powder. This is really pretty. It has pink and white and some gold in it. So this is box number C and it is $25. We have some ribbon uh, rolls to sell. You guys seem to like these. Um, first is item number D and this is um, a wide ivory double face satin. So it does have, it's the shiny on both sides. Um, they're probably is maybe two or three yards on there. That is item number D and it is $1. Next up, we have some black double-faced satin. And this one, probably not 33 yards, but you can see that there is still quite a bit left on this roll. And this is item number E and that is $6. And perfect for holiday crafting is this one, which is a red double-faced satin. And this one has quite a bit, probably at least 30 yards on it left, um, if not more. This is item number F, and this roll is $10. Now we have um, some narrow ribbons. This one is item number G, um, probably not that much, but I'm sure there's probably at least 20 yards on here. This is $8, and this has the pretty greens and the metallic gold in it. And we have another similar one. This one is item number H. And this one has a little bit more than the last one. Again, probably maybe 25 yards on it. And this is $9 for item number H. And last but not least is item I. And there may only be two or three yards on here. It looks full, but it has a thick core. And this is a wide grow grain, a black grow grain ribbon. And this is $2. I also have a couple of uh, spools of Baker's Twine. These do not have any numbers or letters on them. So this one is just the green twine. And this is $3 for this spool. And we also have the orange twine. And it is uh, also $3 for the spool. All right. I have some jewelry samples here. Some of these are ones that we have done in classes. Um... We also, some of them are some samples that I did um, back when we, when CHA was still going on and was still called CHA. And so just various things. And these don't have any numbers on them, but they do have a name. Um, and that is orange, not red, Cindy. So um, let me know if um, you still want it. So this is the rhinestone bracelet, and this is $3. This uses some of the crystal chatons that I showed you here a few weeks ago set in some of the two-part clay. It also has some rhinestone chain here, and this has been made into a bracelet, again, with some more rhinestone chain. And you could certainly, if you wanted to, um, break this apart and use some of these pieces in other things. So this one is the rhinestone bracelet for $3.00. Next, we have a cute little pendant. It comes with the chain. This is the little chick pin, uh, necklace. It is $4, and you can see it has this cute little chick, and this is a little glass, uh, glass cabochon, and it comes on this kind of bronzy colored chain, so that is the chick necklace, and it is $4. This is a fun class we did. I think I collaborated with Judith on this class. This is a Zentangle pendant. It is $2. Um, this was a Zentangle and then also a resin class. So that is some poured resin on there in this fun bezel. And it has a 
um, just kind of a fabric cord on it. So that is the Zentangle pendant for $2. I have a, another little pendant here. This one is the um, Valentine pendant for $4. You can see it says in there, to my Valentine. This one is in a framed pendant and it has the glass cab cabochon on it. So that is the Valentine pendant for $4. Next up, this is a sample um, that I did at CHA. It might have even been the first year we went, don't remember. This is the Bluebird necklace. It is $3. It has a beautiful heart um, pendant. It has the little Bluebird. It has some rhinestone chain embedded in it, and this is resin covering it, and it comes on a gold chain. Um, and so that is the Bluebird necklace for $3. Next, we have some fun little charm necklaces, and these are all $2 each, and I'm just going to tell you um, what the name of it is. This is the Halloween 31. Be sure and put the 31 in there. Um, it has the fun little charm, a little spider charm, and it's on some ball chain, on a copper ball chain. So that is the Halloween 31 um, charm necklace for $2. Then we have this one, which is the Wicked Charm Necklace, also for $2. has the token that says Wicked, and it has the little um, skull charm on it and on a copper ball chain. So that is Wicked uh, Charm for $2. This one is a Winter Charm Necklace. You can see it has the token that says Winter, and it has a little pine cone charm on it. And this one is on just a regular, I think they call this a Rolo chain. So this is the Winter Pendant, and it is $2. And last but not least, we have the Hello Charm Necklace. The little token says Hello on it, and it has a cute little heart charm on it. And this one is on a copper ball chain, so that is the Hello Charm Necklace, and that is $2. Uh, last one on this spinner here. This one is a bird pendant. I also did this one at CHA, and this is $3. This one is not on a chain, but it does have a jump ring. You could put it on a chain. Alternatively, you could probably put a pin back on it and make a pin out of it. Um, it's got some metal. It's got a little rhinestone chain in there. Um, so this is the little bird pendant, and that is $3. Still have more, oh, I missed, almost missed one. This one is the cork necklace, and it is a dollar. This one is fun. It's on a grosgrain ribbon long necklace, and it is literally made with a wine cork. It has some hardware on here for the top and bottom. It's got a little pearl charm at the top, and down here at the bottom, it has this little lotus flower, lotus pad, and dragonfly um, charm hanging from the bottom. So this is the cork necklace and that is one dollar. All right, got some more stuff on here in the way of jewelry. We'll go ahead and get that out of the way. I will also mention that these um, necklace forms are also for sale. It is two dollars for that. Um, so if you're interested in one of those, just uh, put necklace uh, display and I will know that you mean these little black, it's covered with like black velvet, which tends to pick up um, all kinds of dust, but I usually, you can use a little roller pickup or um, also um, just some masking tape. Um, yes, Patty, I would probably sell that little jewelry or the little hanging thing for, let's say, $7. So um, that is yours unless you tell me you want to pass on it. Um, all right, so the first thing we have on here, this is a faux druzy pendant, and I remember that we did these. This was back at our old store, and it was one of our pajama parties that we had, and um, everyone made these faux druzy pendants. They were really fun and pretty easy to do. Um, so this, let me find the little tag for it. So this is the faux druzy necklace and that is $6 and it comes, it's in a silver um, pendant tray and has a silver chain on it. And then I also have a rose pendant and um, this one has a pretty little rose image under a square glass cabochon. I love how the glass or the resin really magnifies the image. And this one is on a 
um, pretty pink cord and ribbon necklace. It is pretty short. Um, so that is the rose pendant and it is four dollars. And just a few more jewelry. Um, this one here is, let me, this one is sea glass. I don't know if this is real sea glass or not. I didn't make this. This got left behind from one of our holiday bazaars. Um, so this is really pretty. Um, it may be real sea glass. It may be faux sea glass, but lots of pretty blues and um, greens and purples. And it's on a fun wire um, necklace and it's pretty long and has a really pretty clasp on the back of it so this is the sea glass necklace and it is eight dollars next up is this one which we did a class on um, this one is the seek beauty necklace and it is twelve dollars and one second here everything's flying everywhere I will show this to you this is on this is pretty long and this is on some fun rosary um, chain and it has a toggle clasp on it and it has this fun little vial that um, has it says has a little rub on that says seek beauty and it has a little um, paper nest down there and a cute little egg in it so this is the seek beauty necklace and this is $12 and last for our jewelry today is this is i believe this was linda from lost coast designs one time when she was here did a class in this so this is i believe this is a sample that she did and left with me this is a polymer clay necklace it is eight dollars and this was all done with polymer clay canes and then baked you can see it's in a silver uh, rectangle silver pendant tray and has a silver although it's tarnished a little bit has a long chain on it so this is the polymer clay necklace and it is eight dollars all righty let us move on to our punches we've got some more punches here for you today these all have numbers on them so this will be a little bit easier for you you can just tell me the number first up is item number one it is 25 cents and it is just a little hole punch it just literally punches that little hole there there you can see the size of it next up we have item number two it is two dollars and this is a tab punch this punches this tab that you see here this would be great if you do any kind of journaling or bookmaking to make some fun tabs for your pages so that is item number two and it is two dollars next up we have a cute little dragonfly punch this is item number three and it is two dollars there you can see that little dragonfly there next is another one of the ek success border punches these are great because you can repeat this border as often or uh, as many times as you want this is item number four it is two dollars you can see it does this fun scalloped with the floor de lis um, edge there next up we have a large square punch this is item number five and it is two dollars and you can see this is a pretty good sized square punch there looks like maybe at least an inch and a half maybe two inches so that is item number five for two dollars next up we have another tab punch this is item number six for two dollars and this one just does a plain rounded tab rounded corner tab so that is item number six for two dollars next up is a Fisker's punch that works much like the EK success punches it does this scalloped border and you can repeat it as often as you need to this is item number seven and it is one dollar this one if you do any um, kids projects cards or things like that scrapbook pages is a really fun one an EK success border punch this is item number eight it is two dollars and it does this fun robot and gear border item number eight for two dollars next up we have item number nine a star punch and this punch is one dollar this is a Martha Stewart punch it is a repeating border punch it does this really pretty delicate lacy edge this is item number ten and it is two dollars last week I think we had a large tag punch and this week we have a little bit smaller one this is item number 11 it is two dollars and it does this tag here you can see that's the size of it so maybe a couple inches two and a half inches tall item number 11 for two dollars 
Next up is item number 12. It is $1. These are kind of unique punches. And this is a cute little cupcake punch. It punches out the um, bottom of the cupcake and also the top separately. So lots of fun things you could do with that one. That is item number 12 for $1. And our last punch of the day is... Item number 13, it is 50 cents, and this one does this kind of scalloped rounded corner and does this pretty little shell um, punch out from it. So this is item number 13, and it is 50 cents. All right, we've gotten through a lot, but we have not even gotten started yet, and I am going to um, be moving up here to the front because that's where the rest of the stuff is. Um, didn't really have room back on the table to show you everything. So first thing I want to show you is I have some free books here. These are absolutely free. You are welcome to come and take as many as you like. These are um, encyclopedias. Um, so um, they have lots of great pages in there to use for your artwork and things like that. Have some really pretty marbled um, fly leaves in here. So those are all free. Come and take as many as you would like. Um, next up is, this one is a little bit more expensive, but I got to tell you what, this is a really great value. These are Spectrum Noor alcohol markers, and these are all from our classroom, so they have all been used, but I have a total of 86 markers that is the marker as well as the refill. Now, the refills um, have been used, so some of them may not have a lot in them, but they all have something in them. So I have a total of 86 markers with refills. I also have a total of 19 markers without refills, and these all are the double-ended. They have a chisel tip, and then they have a fine tip on them, um, and so all of these are the same. So I have 19 markers with no refills, and I also have a total of 28 refills that I do not have matching markers for. And you might wonder, why would I want these? This is alcohol ink, so you can use these to do other alcohol techniques on Yupo or glossy cardstock, just like you would with any other alcohol ink. So definitely some fun things you can do with that. I also have some replacement nibs. Now I'm going to tell you that some of these markers, a lot of these markers are the old style. They're more the square barrel. We do have some in here. I don't know if I can find any right off that have the newer, a little bit rounded um, barrel to them. And I'm pretty sure that these replacement nibs only work on the original markers, but that's mostly what I have in here. So I've got three packages of nibs in here that come along with this and we even have our um, color chart. I'm going to tell you what Ginger that I am not going to pull books for people. If you want them you need to come by. I've got even more encyclopedias in the back so trust me if you come by this weekend you will get some books but um, I am not going to I just I can't pull books for people. Um, so we also have some color uh, charts in there. So you are getting here, again, 86 markers with refills, 19 with no refills, 28 refills, and this whole kit and caboodle with um, some of the nibs is $120. And I know that that is not cheap, but just to give you some perspective on it, um, I checked online on Dick Blick on the Chow Copic markers, which are pretty much the lowest price Copic markers um, that you can buy. And for $120, you would be able to buy 30 chow markers. If you go with the sketch markers, it would be even fewer than that. So especially if you kind of wanted to get into um, the alcohol uh, markers, but the high price has kept you away, this is a chance to get lots and lots and lots of markers along with refills um, for $120. All right, let's come over here. because I have all kinds of store samples and um, displays and some other goodies to share with you. Um, this right here is a store sample that we did. It has all kinds of stenciling and other techniques on it. And this is $5. Um, if you are interested in this, you just need to say the 12 by 12 frame. 
um, even if you don't want to keep the piece that's in there. This is a really nice 12 by 12 frame that you could use for something else. So this is the 12 by 12 frame for $5. Um, I also have a small dry erase board and this is $1. So if you're interested in that, just tell me small dry erase. Um, I have one. This is the reinker rack that goes with the Distress um, ink rack. It doesn't fit on all of them, but it does hook on the side of the Distress ink rack. This is just $1, and actually someone bought one earlier this morning, and she is just going to leave it sitting on her table, and when she is working with um, stickles, she can keep them upside down in there so that they stay nice and ready to use. So that is the reinker rack for a dollar. Um, I have two of these fabric bulletin boards. So they are fabric covered. Um, they're pretty hard. It goes right on the um, hardboard backing. So I don't know how easy it would be to put tacks in, but it has this nice ribbon crisscross detail that you can tuck things in. And this is probably a two by three. So this is a fabric bulletin board. Um, and actually it looks like I've sold one. So I have one left that is $4. This next one, um, it pains me to sell this one. This was a gift to me from someone that taught a couple of classes here, but it's quite large and I just do not have room for it. This is a beautiful, large mixed media piece on canvas. You can see it is quite large. This is probably a, uh, probably a little over two by three. And so this one, we'll call this one the Marie Antoinette collage. And this is, $10 for this. You can see it's on a nice uh, stretched canvas frame. So that is Marie Antoinette for $10. Um, all right. Um, I saw Lynn was on here and I've got some samples that Lynn did for classes. A lot of you took Lynn's book classes. She did wonderful classes and we have some, some of her um, samples here. This first one is a book box. Um, so you can see it looks like a book, but it opens up and it has some tags in it. So this is the tag box. Um, it has the, it's got, looks like it's got three tags in here. They are decorated. Um, so lots of fun things you could use this for. So this is the tag box and it is $12. This one is, um, a kit that she did just, um, earlier this year. It is the Masquerade book, and this is $20. This one is a really fabulous little book, decorated, I think, with some of the authentic Masquerade paper. Lynn does such a great job with these. She has all kinds of pockets. There are side pockets that you can tuck things in, um, little flaps, little booklets in here. This is just a really amazing little book. So this is the Masquerade book, and it is $20. Um, no idea what to call this. This is something I think I made at the very first CHA. I'm going to call this the hangy thing. Um, it is $2 and it is done with cardboard, but it has some pockets in here. This is a little, um, booklet in here and these are decorated envelopes so you can tuck things inside of them. So this is the hangy thing. Yes, Johanna did make the Marie Antoinette um, uh, collage piece for me. So this is the hangy thing. You can see it hangs. It's got some twisted wire up there. That is $2. Next up, I have some PBO paints. This was something that Jan, we were going to do a class with this and it never came to fruition. These are the PBO Prisma Fantasy Paints, and they look really amazing. This is $15, which may seem a little pricey. It has never been used, but this sells for like $40 or $45 if you buy it. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six different bottles of the different paint in it. So that is the PBO Paints for $15. Um... This one I'm going to give to Mana and have her go set back up where we've got some power and I will go demonstrate it to you in a minute. Hey Mana, I'm going to have you come and take this and plug it in back in the back and we will demonstrate it here in a few minutes. Um, next up, 
I have a die cutting machine. This is the Spellbinders Artisan Explorer. I'm pretty sure that these are not available anymore. It is just your standard crank die cut machine. This is really well made. You would not believe how heavy this is. And that's because all of the inside parts of this are metal. It was really designed to be really heavy duty. They used it for some um, uh, jewelry uh, type things although it just you can do regular die cutting it doesn't have the full width like the big shot or the cuddle bug are about six inches but it's bigger than the sidekick this is about a four inch opening in it and i do have it comes with the plates here it comes with this is the base plate this is a cutting pad and I also have an extra new unused cutting pad that comes with it. So this is a perfectly fine die cutting machine and it is $25. Next up, I have some media tool sets. These were designed to go with the Tim Holtz glass mat and I still have these because there were some issues with them being square. This comes with the little scraper that is designed to clean up your glass mat. And it also comes with this straight edge that I think here you can see at the top, it hooks over the edge of your glass mat. And the issue with these is that they are not 100% square. So if you're using it to cut something perfectly square, they're off like maybe by about uh, an eighth of an inch or so, not by much. So this is the media tool set. It is $5. I do have a couple of those. I have some pan pastels for sale. This is a great value because if you've ever used pan pastels, you know they last forever. So even though we have used these in class, they're hardly touched at all. So this one is, we are going to call this pan pastel set number one. So if you want this one, this is $15. This is the one, it has some of the, I forget what they call it. Let's see here if I can turn and see that. This is the medium set. So you can see it's got some of this um, black medium that you can use with any of your other pan pastels and it also makes it a little bit sparkly. There's two uh, pearl ones which are white. Um, one is a coarse grain and one is a fine grain and then there also is this pale gray. Again, these can be mixed with any pan pastels or used on their own. And you can also see that there's quite a few pan pastel tools in here. So this has a total of, I believe, four pan pastels and the tools. This is pan pastel set number one for $15. And next up, we have pan pastel set number two. And this one is $30. And let me pull this out. This comes with the tray and it also comes with these seven pan pastel colors. We got a light blue, a light pink, um, yellow, purple, green, a deep pink, and a nice deep green. And it also comes with um, some pan pastel tools. So again, this will last you forever. Even though we've used it, it barely shows it. This would probably cost you $50 or $60 if you were to buy it new. So that is Pan Pastel set number two for $30. Next up, I have some DVDs and um, some of you younger crafters may not remember her, but I'm sure those of you that are a little bit older remember Carol, the Carol Duvall show on HGTV. So this is the Carol Duvall. This is a DVD and here she has a bunch of different guest artists. Um, on here doing lots of different projects. So this is the Carol Duvall DVD for three dollars Here I have a Dreamweaver stencil tips and tools Dreamweaver makes metal stencils although a lot of these um, you could do with any stencil using a lot of um, uh, Embossing paste and some fun techniques. So this is the Dreamweaver stencils DVD and it is $2. And last but not least, I have the DVD called Rubber Paper Scissors for $2. And this is with Judy Watanabe, which if I am not mistaken, Judy is the owner of Judikin's Stamps. So this is the Rubber Paper Scissors DVD and it is $2. 
Next up, we have a cute little sample that we did, um, I think, for a class. This is a little Halloween tin. It's all decorated up with a spider on top. It says creepy candy. It actually has some little candies inside. I am not going to vouch for how good those candies still are, um, but it would be really cute to put your own little candies and make a cute little Halloween decoration or gift, and that is $1. So that is for the creepy candy tin. That is $1. Next, we have some samples that are from classes. This one is the Nest Canvas, and this is actually, a you can see, a three-dimensional. We have the birdhouse with the nest in it and the eggs, some twigs, and some little birds on it. So this is the Nest Canvas, and that is $5. This one, it was a fun class that we did. We're going to call this one the Town Collage. And that one is also $5. It's in one of the nice um, frames that Tim Holtz has. Um, and this was one of his die sets. And all these papers were made with Distress Oxides and cut out. So this one is really fun. This one is the Town Collage, and it is $5. Next, we have a cute little burlap canvas. We will call this one the Adore Collage since it says a door on it. And this is a burlap canvas that has been painted and we have some uh, uh, stamped and collaged hearts on here. We have the little house and the word adore. So this is the adore canvas and it is, lost my little sticker, it is $2. See if I can get my sticker back off and on here. So that is the adore canvas for $2. Next, we are back with one of Lynn's books. This was her last kit that she did for us, and this book is absolutely stunning. This is the Christmas book. It is a large book. It is $35, and again, I think this was some of the authentic holiday papers from this year. You can see how beautiful this is, and once again, on the inside has all kinds of pockets where you can tuck things in if you want to. It has little side pockets that has tags in it. So this would make a really great holiday book to keep memories and mementos in. So this is the Christmas book and it is $35. Continuing our Christmas theme, we have a little shadow box display. I think we maybe did this last year. So we'll just call this the Christmas shadow box. And this is $5. This was done in a wooden cigar box. And we have some fun papers. We have some of the Tim trees that we've sprayed inside and decorated his little um, snowman in there um, and some nice silver tinsel around the outside. So this is the Christmas shadow box. It is $5. This is a really amazing little paper craft um, that we had in a class that Mana did. This is the teacup and teapot set. It is $5, and this is all made out of paper that was folded. The teapot even has the little lid that comes off of it, so super, super cute teacup and teapot. That is $5. I think this is, um, well, nope, this isn't our last Lynn book. She did some really amazing ones. Here is another, this is another um, large book, and this is the Christmas recipe book. It is also $35. This was from last year. It has the really fun recipe-themed um, or baking-themed holiday paper. Once again, lots of places to tuck in your recipe cards even comes with some of these recipe cards. It has the side pockets in it where you can put things in there. So this is the Christmas recipe book, and it is $35. That might make a really wonderful holiday gift for someone. Um, we're going to jump away from samples for just a minute because I have some distress inks. These are all from our classroom. So we, these have all been used, but these are uh, extras that we had. I have one oxide pad, it is 250, so if you want it, you just need to tell me oxide. And the color that we have is Dusty Concord. The rest of these are all regular full-size um, distress pads, 
and they are two dollars and on these you need to tell me the color name if there is one that you want so we have tumbled glass we have tea dye we have victorian velvet We have Wild Honey, one of my favorite distress colors. Might be why we have two of them. We have Walnut Stain, one I think one of the original colors. We have Cracked Pistachio, Spun Sugar, Gathered Twigs, Old Paper, that's a really great color, kind of a greenish brown. Um, scattered Straw. Crushed Olive, that one is a really nice olivey green color. We have Faded Jeans. Dried Marigold. Stormy Sky, Fired Brick, Black Soot, Aged Mahogany, another really great color, Antique Linen, Broken China, classic one of the, I think one of the first blues in the Distress line. And finally, Bundled Sage, which is a very pale, kind of olivey, greeny brown. So those are the regular Distress ink pads, all used, and they are all $2. All right, next up we have some more class samples. This, I think, was a class that Anne Marie did. This is on a large, um, stretched canvas. It's also one of the deep ones. And this one has some fun um, stenciling techniques on it. I think that beautiful face is from Dina Wakely stencil. And this is four dollars and we will call this the, let's just call this the Dina Collage um, canvas and that is four dollars. This is a fun and cheerful little canvas that we did. I'm pretty sure that the background was done with gelatos. Um, of course, gelatos are water soluble. And then this was from a stamp set from Delusion. So we will call this one, how about if we call this one the um, Houses Collage. We have the fun sun there from a book page and some sentiments. This one is $3. This is the Houses Collage for $3. And then we also have another um, burlap canvas, very similar to the first one. This one is the Love Canvas, and again, it's on the burlap um, stretched canvas with a painted background with some fun hearts and a house and the word love. So that is the Love Canvas for $2. This was um, a class that unfortunately never happened. I forget why it did not happen. It was a class that Lynn was going to do that was not a book class, and this is a fun little winter fairy garden. And this is $12. This is in a terracotta saucer. You can see we have the little um, fairy houses. Those are little, the little pine cone shingles for the roof. We have the little wooden path up there. We have some little fairies in there, some trees, um, and lots of snow on the ground. So this is the fairy garden, and that is $12. Um, we are getting close to the end. I have a couple of display pieces. This is just a metal bucket that has the punched out heart on the front. It is pretty good sized. It is $2. It is a little bit wonky. It got bent a little bit out of shape, so it's not perfectly round, but still very usable. That is the heart bucket for $2. This one is the country market bucket. It is $4. It is a nice chicken wire um, frame and has the nice wooden handle. That is the Country Market bucket for $4. A um, couple more samples. This was a class that we did with Jan. Um, this is 
the string art. This is on a nice stained wooden board. This is $5, and this has the nails with the string in it to create this fun star. So this is the uh, string art for $5. I'm going to skip over here and we'll come back to our last sample. I have um, one of these racks. This is $2. You can see it's a little easel rack and you could display artwork or books in there. So that is the easel display for $2. We still have some of the little metal IKEA buckets that are a dollar each. Um, I have some of these little plastic storage. Most of these are from Stampendous. These are the medium storage and they are $2. Um, I mean, they are $1 for two of them. So this is the medium storage. I think I have a couple of those. And then I also have the large storage. These are deeper than the other ones are. And those are $1 each for the large storage. And last but not least, I have the small storage. These were actually um, used to store jelly plates in, but you could store other things in them. They are good size, so a project you're working on. And this is the small storage, and it's 50 cents for two of them. And I think to close out today, we have our last sample. Again, another sample that Lynn did. And this is our fairy box, and this is great. This started out as a cigar box. It has been all decorated up, painted and decorated. I think this was from some graphic 45 paper, all the flowers and the glitter on it. Inside, it has been segmented off so you can store things in here. It has a little pocket up here. This might be great if you to make a little kit for... Uh, writing, addressing your cards and your letters. You could store stamps up here, your pens and other things down here. And then it also comes with this little um, mini booklet in it. You can see some pockets in here and pockets over here. And this is designed so that it fits right in here. So this is the fairy box and this sample is $20. All right. I think that's going to do it for today. That was a long one. Um, oh, thank you. Forgot. I had Mana set something up back here. We have our tool. This is something I don't think you can get it anymore. It is old. It is from Zetter, and it is a distress tool, and it does, in fact, work. It's electric. You plug it in, and this is just a piece of card stock. And you hold the button down and run it through there, and it's got a blade that distresses things very quickly. So this is the Distress Tool, and it is $8. Okay, so that does do it for now. Um, lots of great things. I will be going through the comments and seeing what everyone got. If you got something, you won't hear from me. That seems to cause somebody confusion every time. They say, well, I never heard back from you, so I didn't think I got it. If you got something, you won't hear from me. I can't contact everybody that won. But if someone beat you to something that you did want, I will reply to your comment and let you know that you didn't get it. So that is how you can tell if you got something or not. If you commented on it and don't hear from me, then you can assume that you got it. Um, again, we do need you to come by and uh, pay for and pick up your items by the end of this weekend. It is our last official weekend but watch for more information about a week from Saturday, um, and I will let you know um, if we are going to be open then and what our hours will be. And if you need things shipped, please just let me know, and we are happy to ship. All right, um, I think that is going to do it for today. I hope if you're able that you will stop in and see us this weekend. Goodbye.